Hello, so you've just purchased a Scarlet Solo and you want to start making music. I'm going to take you through the setup and registration process so you can get up and running in no time. First, let's have a look at what's inside the box. Inside the Scarlet Solo box, you get the Scarlet Solo interface itself and a USB cable. All information on downloading the included software is printed on the inside sleeve of the box. And this contains your bundle code, which you'll need later when registering the product. I'm using Internet Explorer here, you might be using Mozilla Firefox or Chrome. And as per the instructions, I'm going to visit www.focusrite.com. Then click on Register Product. In the product drop down menu, select Scarlet Solo. Here we're using Scarlet 2i2 as an example. You'll see the Scarlet Solo appear here. And then you need to enter the serial number, which is printed on the back of the box or the back of the unit. Enter your email address. And then click on Get My Stuff. I've already got an account with Focusrite, and if you don't have an account, click on Sign In, and you can create one. So I'm going to enter my password now. And I'm going to enter my bundle code, which is printed on the inside of the box, here. Once you've entered the bundle code, scroll down, enter the date of purchase and where the product was purchased from. And click on submit. You'll see in your account the Scarlet Solo. As I mentioned before, the Scarlet 2i2 here is being used as an example. And your serial number is here and your bundle code is here. Additional info has videos. The support tab has the latest answer base articles. And the downloads tab has all your software, activation codes and download links. So if we scroll down, we need to click on the Windows Focusrite USB audio driver link. Click on Run. And click Next. And run through the installation process. Click on Next, click on Finish, and the USB audio drivers are installed. Next, we need to click on the download link for Ableton Live Lite. Click on Download Live Lite here. Close this window and double click on Setup. This will unpack the contents of the installer. Now click on Next and continue the installation. This could take some time, so feel free to pause the video and resume when you're ready. Minimize these windows and Ableton Live will load. Now we need to click on Authorize with Ableton.com. Click on Allow and log in to your Ableton account. If you don't have an account, on the right hand side here, you can create one. Now we need to go back to our Focusrite account page and manually type this code in here. When you're ready, click on Register Serial. You're now activated and ready to go. Click on OK.
Connecting the Scarlett Solo is easy. Plug the USB cable into the back of the unit and plug the other end into your PC. Now we need to connect the speakers. With a phono cable, connect the red and white connectors to the back of the unit and plug the other ends into the speakers. I'm going to be recording vocals and guitar, so I'm going to plug an XLR cable into input 1 and press the 48V button. This transmits a power source to the microphone that we're using. Not all microphones require a power source, however, so please check with the microphone manufacturers. Next, I'm going to plug in a jack cable for my guitar and change from line input to instrument input. The headphone output is here, and the direct monitor switch allows you to hear everything you're recording without any software processing, which can cause latency or delay. Now I'm going to ask my artist to play and sing while I check the levels. The LEDs will glow red when the input signals are clipping. Turn these down so they're a healthy green colour. Now it's time to set the Scarlett Solo as the input and output device in live. Click on Options and select Preferences, and in the Audio tab, click on the drop-down menu for Audio Device, and select Focusrite USB Audio Driver, like so. You're now set up. So I'm going to delete these MIDI channels like so, and then by hitting Ctrl and R, I can rename the channel. Channel 1 to Vocals, and Channel 2 to Guitar. Click on the linear view or arrangement view here and click on I.O. Then in vocals, set the input to 1 and in guitar, set the input to 2. We need to record arm one channel and by holding control, record arm the other. When your artist is ready, hit record and you can record your performance. So there you have it, you should be up and running and making music. If you do have any problems, please contact our support team. Thanks very much for watching.